Hey guys, Rocks and Boxing 90 here with a news video. It might be a spoiler video. I'm not sure if these are already out there and posted because it was a rec this was a recent post, but about a week ago. So it might just be a general news video, but we have some M14 playmats. So what do we have? We have Angel of Thune, which um, is pretty gorgeous when you blow it up. I've already seen a blown up version of it. It's pretty nice. Then we have um, one of the slivers, I forget which exact one, but it's pretty solid art. I like that they didn't take the more human-y looking one. This one's kind of, it's it's not, it's humanoid, but it's not quite as human looking as some of the other slivers. So at least there's that. It looks kind of interesting. Then we have the Scourge, which, whoa, this is interesting. Notice he doesn't have arms, or he doesn't have the arms from the card. I guess they decided afterwards that he'd look cooler with the arms, maybe because there's this knight here that he'd be, have his arms for. But that's kind of neat that this is kind of this is probably done before they finalize the art for the card. That is really cool to see that, since we've seen I spoiled Scourge a while back when it was first spoiled, and now it's out, and this is really neat to see after the fact that, oh, this actually, this was the development of it. That is pretty darn cool. I, I personally like it better with arms. It just, it feels a little, little weaker looking to me. Maybe just proportionally from the head and wings and stuff. Um, but, uh, what do you guys think? I guess just let me know. Next up we have, aha. Very nice. I'm a big fan. You see, that's the thing. It's like playmats. Some they don't necessarily be the best cards in the set, but sometimes the artwork is just is is good enough that it could be it could be a generic common even. Um, not this card's bad by any means. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying sometimes they it's like a fiend hunter basically. Um, but sometimes they pick like a basic common. If you go back through their old wallpapers and playmats, and the art is just unbelievable so sometimes artists come through in the clutch they're not going to be on the biggest mythic in the set but it doesn't matter the art's pretty amazing and lastly we have chandra being chandra but as you can definitely tell um this one has more of a has a less digitized feel even if it was digitally done than this this definitely feels digitally created which isn't a bad thing at all it just is a fact so it just has that digit digitized modely feeling which is fine because that mirrors the chandra art from the set so that's kind of cool that they kept it across cards and yeah just fire explosions which is chandra's specialty and if you saw on the wizards website they've had a bunch of anniversary articles and one of the articles was quoting old cards so there was a flavor text from a Jaya, from a card that was Jaya Ballard's words that were, um, you do, uh, something like, um, you don't have to fight fire with fire, you fight everything with fire, something like that. And this def and Chandra definitely fits that archetype. Anyway, so here are some five playmats. I presume they're already out since this is a little slightly delayed video, but. If uh, if you can pick them up and you're and you want some cool art playmats, these are definitely looking really fantastic. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about them below in the comments section as well. Check out my channel sponsors in the description of the video. And as always, Rocks and Box and 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.